Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a fun look for you guys today. Um, I was inspired by a sunset that I actually saw out my window one day. A little bit of a story. Um, I was actually in a really bad place that day. Um, mentally and physically. Um, mentally not doing so great and physically I had um, a bad case of really bad migraines for like two weeks straight and I just wasn't doing good at all and I usually like I open my windows like the blinds so that my cat can see out because he likes to see out and pretend he's chasing birds and stuff um but I had not opened my blinds in two weeks and um for some reason I opened my blinds and it was like the sunset was like so beautiful and it was so pretty and it just gave me a little bit of hope and inspiration um to keep going keep doing what I want to do no matter how many people tell me I can't do this and I can't do that and I shouldn't be doing this and I shouldn't be doing that you know it was just like a little reminder that I should do what I want to do, do what I love, continue to do everything in my power to continue what I love. So I wanted to create a look inspired from that sunset and just kind of remind myself that I'm doing what I love to do and to keep doing uh, what I have planned and you know everything will fall into place. So yeah, um, I wanted to create this look and I'm really, 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 really happy with how it turned out. I'm like, um, I paired it with a dark lip, but you of course can pair it with a nude lip or any color in your sunset or like a like, nudie pink or something like that or just some gloss. Um, I want to do dark lips because I love dark lips. <laughs> just makes me look really pale and I love that. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and let's get started! So of course, I am going to start off with my AOA Studio Wonder Cover Concealer in Highlight and just blend that out all over my lid, um, just so I have a nice white base. And then the main palette I'm going to be using for this look is the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca palette. First color I'm going to be going into is Dark Wave, which is a really pretty dark navy blue. And I'm going to be using that on the outer part and the inner part of my lid. And I'm going to create kind of a halo effect look with this. So the very outer portion and the very inner portion are going to be dark and then going into the lighter in the very center. Now going in with analog, which is a really pretty kind of burnt orange, I'm going to take a thinner brush and go right next to that blue and just blend out. Um, blue and orange are really, really hard to blend next to each other. So it took me a while to blend those two colors together, but don't get discouraged. They do look really nice once they're all blended in. And then the very center, I'm taking a mix of Fran and Legend just to put it in the very center. And it also gives it a bit more of a sheen. So you can have that really like pop of uh, shimmer on the very center. And of course, orange and yellow will blend out really well together. Um, I did have to go back and touch up the orange because I got a little happy handed with the yellow. <laughs> so you just blend between those three colors until you're happy with the intensity. 
Then I went in with Anthem and a thin brush and I'm going to kind of cut my crease question mark um I'm going to act like I'm cutting my crease and just put it at the base of that color just so we can get rid of all the harsh edges with that dark purple and then I'm going to use a fluffy brush and take swoon from the palette which is a really pretty pink and I'm going to lightly blur out that anthem color just to also get rid of harsh lines and also have that nice faded gradient from the dark to the light. And then, of course, I'm going to go back in with Anthem a little bit and kind of intensify that purple because I got a little too happy-handed and blended out just, just a little too much. <laughs> and blending is really key for this look. And then I'm going to take Lyric and apply that as my brow bone highlight to tame that pink because that pink got out of control and I had an entire pink eyebrow, <laughs> so I had to tame it down. I had to go back a few notches. Then I just lined my eyebrows with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow Eyeliner in Mink Brown. I was going to try to match my hair, but I'm in the middle of bleaching my hair, so nothing's going to match it, honestly. <laughs> and then I'm going to grab um, that Anthem color and a very thin brush. And I'm just going to add it on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take Swoon and put it on the inner portion of my lower lash line now if you don't like pink close to the like the lower lash line look you can just do the blue and the pink the blue and the purple instead so and then I of course did my liner off camera and mascara and now I'm putting on some blush I'm using City Colors blush quad in collection 2 which has like really fun peachy colors and I'm using that really fun peachy orangey color and applying that on my cheeks just to stay with the whole sunset theme and of course I added my contour and all that kind of stuff off camera and then my favorite product in the entire world Corpse Cosmetics um, Sirens Glow in Victorian I love highlighter especially when it blinds you it's, just, it's good stuff I want to blind everyone with my highlighter <sighs> and me getting yeah I got way too ooh shiny with the highlighter but I mean look at that glow look at that glow look at look at <laughs> now for lips I wanted to do a dark lip um, I used a dark berry color. Um, I will have a link, a uh, list of all the products that I used. Um, I don't support the company that I'm using, but I have it, so I'm going to use it. Um, but yeah, I'll have a list of all the products that I used down below if you happen to want to know. But any dark berry lip will do. And that is it. And that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, and my little story time kind of thing. Um, just remember that if you are also going through a tough time, remember that it will pass. Things will get better. It may seem like it's kind of the end of the world and things are going haywire and you just have no control. But trust me, it will get better. Um, there is always a light at the end of the tunnel, even if you cannot see it. Um... So just keep doing what you love to do. Keep doing what makes you happy. And if anyone has anything else to say, tell them to eat shit. <laughs> you know, like, just do what makes you happy. And 
as long as you're not hurting anyone or hurting yourself, just do whatever makes you happy, you know? Or a crime. If you're doing a crime, don't do that. Don't, don't do bad things. But, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video. And also hit the notification bell to be notified every single upload I put up here on my channel. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys with all my heart and soul. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!